Hey, hi, ho, he, ha. Good evening from London, England. Should I say good morning, good afternoon, or in some cases, good night and rest well. From your host, your guy himself, the one and only and truly DLG repping. Yes. Dele London Guna. Romeo Echo Papa Papa Indigo November. And here I am, yeah? My out in my Arsenal outfit. Just thought um I'd um present myself and introduce myself to you new guys who are watching for the first time. Anyway, this is the Brighton Hove Albion v Arsenal review. It finished Brighton Hove Albion nil Arsenal nil. A ball, a ball score draw. But before I get into it, yeah, make sure you share this channel all over the world. Help me by um, showing me love by sharing it all over the world to your friends and your relatives, yeah? And show me that love and share it amongst your friends and relatives. Positive feedback. Leave it in the comment section below, please. Yeah? Your opinions, your views, your reaction to the Brighton Hove Albion game, whether you watched it on the telly or you were at the game in the away end, I would love to hear your views and um, your, your whole um, view on the game. That's all I want to hear. And football fans as well. Brighton fans, you're more than welcome to come onto my channel and have a chat. Make sure you drive and smash the thumbs up like button for me in abundance, yeah? Show me that love and support, yeah? And I appreciate that. And last but not least, yeah, viewers, don't, while you're, while you're, subs, uh, while you're commenting, with your smashing the thumbs up like button, sharing this channel all over the world, make sure you subscribe to DLG Repping. Get subscribing. Smash that subscribe, please, um, that subscribe button for me, please. Left, right and centre. And by the way, if you do subscribe, I'll shout you out, yeah? like I did with um, other subscribers um, of recently. Keep subscribing to the channel. Let this channel grow. I'm not far off um, 200 subscribers. Maybe that will come before Christmas or over 200, 200 by Christmas. But the main thing is I'm going for 1,000 subscribers and far and beyond. So let's get subscribing and let's get that main target, 1,000 subscribers. And after that, 1,000 subscribers, I'm going for more and even more subscribers. Yeah? So the journey is on. Well, say journey. Yeah, the journey is on. It's a marathon or a journey, should I say. A marathon is a competition. A journey is how far this channel can grow and go. So get subscribing. So Brighton or Arabian, Neil Arsenal, Neil. Um... <clears throat> For me, as an Arsenal fan, we were absolutely poor. Terrible first half. Brighton were more on the ascendancy. They created more opportunities, dominated possession, and they won the, they, they had the midfield one. And on the flanks, Tommy Yasu had a torrid um time in the first half. That Cucurella Best player on the park and rightfully so rewarded um, the Premier League man of the match. Although I'll give Tommy Yasu some credit. He did redeem himself um, in the second half and he had to improve for me. I mean, defensively, yeah, he was found wanting a little bit. I mean, it's not the some people will make excuses for him because of the rain, the cold. But for me, he is a professional footballer. He he understands that. I know he understands that. Um, Kieran Tierney, poor. But the, the team was poor in the first half. You know, the team was quite poor in the first. Second half, again, not the best. Um, not as good as... Um, they weren't as worse in, as they were in the, in the first half. But they showed some signs that they were going to you know, come back into life a bit. But Brighton played terrifically well. And um, maybe we got away with a point. We were lucky to get away with a point. Um, Brighton fans, Arsenal fans, your your opinions are more than welcome in my comment section below. 
Now, other than that, it was a ball draw. I felt our manager could be more braver. Whereas Graham Potter, based on the performance, I think Graham Potter um, would be happy with the two. And as a manager, he is a very good footballing coach. And for me, a future England manager. And that's saying a lot about the man himself, Graham um, Potter, as a Brighton and football man and a professional football manager. He, he, he learnt um, his tactical... He's, he's learnt his tactical strategy abroad and he's brought it here to Brighton, England and you can see the difference in Brighton's football compared to what it, what, what it looked like or well, what it was under um, Chris Hewton and other previous managers. You can see they moved the ball very slick, very quick. And he's getting the players to fit into his philosophy. And it showed against us, you know. If they had taken three points, I would not have had any complaints at all. Because getting away with a point is fortuitous to us. But I think it's a point that we can't celebrate. We can't, we cannot dare celebrate a point. If that is the case, then there's something drastically wrong with our fan base and I mean that our management should have been a lot braver with his um, approach a lot braver tactically and definitely a lot braver with the substitutions he was scared just scared to make the um, changes in the appropriate timing typical Mikel whatever that's what frustrates me about him have a go be brave Anyway, without further ado, let me get into the player ratings. Aaron Ramsdale. Um, <clears throat> he dropped a clanger that he got away with because um, the referee awarded a foul in our favour in, in, in the first half. Other than that, he made a couple of saves in the second half. Um, I'll give him a six and a half um, based on his second half saves and handling... And ball at his feet. Very confident. And there's a clean sheet for him. So six and a half. Tommy Yasu. Hmm, not the best of games. Although he improved um, a little bit more. He improved a little bit in the second half. But first half he was all over the place. Cucurella ran him ragged. He ran him all over Brighton. He, he was... He was... Not, he, he was um, found... Um, Wanted, lost in the sea. He just didn't know what hit him. I mean, I've seen him in previous games and he's been tremendous for to, for us. But I'm going to have to give him a a four, if I'm being totally honest with you. Four for Tommy Yasu. And I love that guy already. And I hope he comes back a lot better and stronger and more confident. You know, the Tommy Yasu that I have seen live. So I'm going to give him a, a 4 out of 10. Ben White um, made a couple of... Uh, I think he made a couple of um, headed clearances. Um, yeah. Uh, he weren't the best um, performer in a yellow shirt yesterday, but he wasn't the worst. I'm going to give him a 5. Gabriel Magalis, um at times for me, he was vital in in our defence. Vital in us keeping the clean sheet and getting that point. Uh, did well against... Um, he did... Well, he did um, pretty well against uh, Mope. Um, restricted him to long-range distance shooting, which never troubled Aaron Ramsdale. And for me, without him, I don't know where we would be. I'm going to give him a six. Kieran Tierney, poor all game. Just poor. His distribution of the ball, his defensive positioning, giving the ball away in the defensive areas, which led to danger at times. And for me, he just wasn't on his game. Free. Not good enough. Partey, I think he struggled. 
especially in that first half. And um, yeah, he looked um, out of his depth at times. Ah, oh, nah, not for me. Not the best game for me for Partey. One thing with Partey, he never shied away from responsibility. He still always wanted the ball. But again, he looked like he was going to lose the ball every time he received it. I'm going to win him a five. Albert Mboyo Sambi Lokonga. First half, he struggled with Partey. But in the second half, out of the two, he improved a, a, a little bit more than Partey. And he wasn't back. He wasn't going to not pass the ball forward. He did um, produce a couple of forward passes, even though they went astray. It just shows that he is not scared to um, produce a forward pass. Out of the two, I'm going to give him a five and a half. Yeah, he made more of an effort in the second half than Partey. Right. The attacking three behind the striker. Um, Bakayo Saka. Maybe our brightest spark in that game. It's an argument between him and Emil Smith-Rowe. <sighs> second half, I didn't see much of him, though. I don't think... And that's due to the fact that Brighton had plenty of the ball and plenty of um, plenty more possession than us. But when he did have the ball in, in, in that second period in in um, places, I thought, yeah, he looked um, yeah very assured. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him a six. Emil Smith Rowe, no, no, Odegaard, nah, just wasn't enough for me. Didn't do enough for me to warrant um, a performance. I thought he was. Just anonymous, poor passing, poor first touch. Oh, I'm going to give him a one. He was absolutely dreadful. I think he was the worst player on that pitch, on that park for us. So that's not the other guy that, um, that was signed by Real Madrid for how much. Although he, he signed for them as a 15-year-old. That is not the talented uh, Odegaard. So I'm going to give him... Oh, I'm going to have to give him a two. He could do a lot better. Um, Emil Smith-Rowe. Um, yeah, um, I w he had, a, he had um, our second um, effort on target. But for me, uh, I don't think he had too bad of a game. A couple of missed... Um, couple of missed passes there um, he could have done a lot, a lot more to help Kier and Tierney out defensively and um, yeah he was confident of playing that from the back when he had the ball in the defensive in our defensive area where he, he I don't remember him giving the ball away I'm going to give him a 6 because he made that some effort Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang He had a header that hit the post in the first half, I believe. But for me, yeah, he was he was um, starved of service. And to be honest with you, yeah, he's, he, another poor game for him. I expect a lot better from him. He worked hard. I will say that he worked hard to close the ball down, but not enough for me to say that he affected the game. I'm giving him a three. Right, the substitutions. Oh, this is where I must just bury me. Oops. Oh, the substitutions. Excuse me. Hurry up. Get me out of this. Um, Nicola Pepe. Yes. Um, I don't think he really did anything much to inspire Arsenal scoring a goal. We'll look at the substitutions here. Um, I think Pepe came on for Martin Odegaard, who was just so poor. Pepe. Mm. 
I don't think he made an impact for it, for himself to affect the game. I just think he was just, you know, kind. Of, yeah, he was. He was kind of missing. I don't see enough of him with Pepe. You know, I don't think he was any any better than the players who started. So I'm going to give him a standard five. Alexander Lacazette for Aubameyang. Now, um, he did battle a little bit. But um, for me, yeah, a standard five. I don't. I didn't see enough there. Ainsley Maitland-Niles, I'm not even going to mark. So I'm going on to the management. Um, Arteta, or sorry, whatever. I did say in my last fan cam um, at the Tottenham game, after, after the Tottenham game, that Arteta needs more patience. What I meant by that was patience up maybe up until Christmas. But for me, he showed he showed me that he was not braver with his um with his um team. Well well the team selection was right, but he was not brave with his substitution. In terms of switching it up, changing the formation, he didn't show any bravery. And um I just think that um we were overrunning midfield and um he could have done something about that. For me, I'm going to give him a five. Not his best uh, performance as management. Um, the ref. Let's see what, what the ref says. Who was the ref? Oh, the ref was absolutely uh, appalling. You know, there were tackles going by that he got away with. There were tackles going against us. But I think the manner that he refereed the game I mean I'm not making any excuses for us because our performance was um, bang average but some of the um, there were a couple of them decisions that he overlooked turned a blind eye to should I say I'm just not um, impressed with him John Moss so I'm going to give him a 2 he was awful overall um, the fans they were quite vocal. I'm going to give them an eight. They got behind the team. They turned up in their numbers um, to see an av average performance. Some would say abject. Some will say a lot worse than abject. I'm going to say an average performance they saw. So I'm going to give the fans a five. No, I'm going to give the fans an eight. Sorry. I beg your pardon. Other than that... Um, This concludes um, the end of my um, recording and my, well, the end of my um, preview of the Brighton v Arsenal game, which finished nil nil. So, ladies and gentlemen, to the boys and the girls, allow me to thank you once again for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. As I always say, saving the best to last. Thank you so much for putting up with me. Yeah, I'll be um, back hopefully later on with another football content and I think this one's going to be interesting but I'm not going to say too much about it um, if you want to leave a comment then keep it positive feedback that is all that I promote your views and your opinions etc is welcome to my comment section below smash a thumbs up like button for me share this channel virally all over the planet yeah I don't care where you come from what race you are gender, age etc equal opportunities is what I promote as well and a, and, a, and a westernized culture, that is what I definitely promote as well. 100%. Yeah, smash the thumbs up, smash the share button for me, yeah? And the thumbs up like button. As well as um, subscribing to the channel. Let me see a subscribers to, one subscriber would be nice. But let me see more than, a lot more than one subscribers. Let's smash this subscribe button for me. If you can get me to 200 and something before Christmas, I'll be very, very, very grateful. But I am screaming and crying out for a thousand subscribers. That will mean a lot to me. So let's get subscribing and um, I'll speak to you in due course. Peace again, love again and bless again. Ladies and gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls.
take care of your friends, take care of your family, take care of yourselves, stay safe. And once again, just please be nice.